Holly? What? Looks like he's done it again. What? When our son Ezra was born, we had him in a small bassinet and then in a crib. But when he was a year and a half, he was able to climb out of the crib. And he was a goer. He would escape, and if you didn't stop him, he would leave the house and never look back. So we thought we'd try a tent bed. We got him one like this, since it was a good size and was also able to close, helping him stay safe at night. No one wants a knock on the door at 2 a.m. from the police bringing back your child. But he eventually went through three of these types of beds, destroying each one and escaping. He did pretty well until Ezra had a near-death experience. You can see that video here. We as a family decided to sell our house, move into an RV, and visit all the national parks, focusing on creating experiences with our kids. This was a big decision and a big change for everyone, especially Ezra. Just a day after buying our RV, the generator overheated and while we got it fixed, we had to stay in a hotel room. We put Ezra in this pack and play with a covering over it and it worked great until it didn't. That night, Ezra ripped up the top and climbed out which forced us to go and purchase a one-man tent for him. But there was a problem. It had to be staked in the ground to be able to pop up. That's unfortunate since we're in a hotel. But my husband Adam and my son Benson were able to make it work. You can watch that video here. Pull it and it, that makes it kind of like pop up. Yeah. So it doesn't really work. We also made the tent work in the RV, but it was still a struggle. Time after time, Ezra would somehow escape. Thankfully, being in an RV keeps you in close quarters, and we would catch him before he got too far. Yay! Ezra loves nature, and walking the amazing trails of these national parks brought a constant smile to his face. We post daily of our unique, normal, and our travel adventures with five kids and two who are autistic. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell button to be notified when our next video comes out. Being in the RV for that long was not easy, but it helped us as a family grow closer to one another. Especially Ezra, he's constantly teaching us things that we didn't know we needed to know. It was a difficult decision to move into an RV and sell our house, but we can't let a diagnosis define our destiny. Sometimes the hard things have the best rewards. Remember, if you have a child who's autistic, you're in good company. Ezra's bed was such a pain to set up in the RV because it was supposed to be staked in. You can see a day in the life video here. So we decided to do some research and get Ezra a dog bed. We actually liked this dog bed so much we ended up getting another one for our two-year-old autistic son, Simon. They work so well in the RV and after our big trip and we see all the national parks, we just transfer these beds into their new room. You can see our home tour here. So everything's okay, right? Well, it was till this happened. Holly? What? Looks like he's done it again. What? He started to rip this. Oh no. So that's not gonna last much longer. He's gonna get that and it'll be. He'll get out. Get out probably tonight. Maybe we'll tape it or sew, try to sew it up. Tell us in the comments your experience with autism and sleeping. I broke this other piece. So, broke the pole, so we uh, jimmy rigged something to fix that. Show us what the pole's supposed to look like. While we were on the uh, It's supposed to look trip. like that. Yeah. And then he broke it, so then Adam had to like put that. Put that over it and drill it. And that's worked well. But this is now gonna be his one, two, three, four, this will be his fifth safety bed that he's broken. This has been a long road for us. So we have some really exciting news. In just a few days, we'll be getting a legitimate safety bed for Ezra. It's big and he shouldn't be able to topple it over or break out of it. We post every day. We post two long form videos, one on Tuesday and one on Saturday at three o'clock and shorts every other day. See you then. Mm -hmm.